Nothing is more difficult than dessert when it comes to making sure that your kids don't just load up on all the crap that's out there that's available to them. So you have to kind of make it fun. You have to make it sort of that you're, you know, all, you're compete. think of what you're competing with. Neon colors, uh, every manner of packaging, you name it. So a strawberry lemonade popsicle, that's a good place to start. Now I have one pound of fresh strawberries here that I've hulled, just taking the tops off. And you could get your kids involved at this stage because that makes them excited. So when you're at the store and you're buying food, you're in the fruit section and you see beautiful strawberries, give them a little plastic knife and let them cut the tops off. And then they're invested and they're interested. So anyway, I have in the blender here a pound of hulled strawberries. I have two cups of lemonade. Now you could make that yourself or you could buy it. Making it yourself means you could control the sugar, you could use honey instead of sugar, but either way, you're gonna have to sweeten a little. Sweetening properly is part of drawing them in. So here for these popsicles, I'm just gonna use about a quarter cup of sugar. So that's all it is, exactly. So I have um, my blender jar full, I'm just gonna blend it. You may want it really thin, but I think it's kinda nice to have it a little chunky. So I'm just gonna get it going here on low. <laughs> chop it a little bit. And let me just take a look here with my spoon and see what kind of consistency I have. That was really easy, right? Very easy. And I'm gonna taste it and just see what I think before I put it in the mold. Mmm. Tastes like lemons, tastes like strawberries, just like it's supposed to. Now, I have got a old-fashioned popsicle maker here. I mean, it wasn't this fancy when I started out. It has a top and you've got your sticks. But if you don't have one of these, here's kind of something kind of interesting. You can just take a Dixie cup and put the, you know, fill it up with your mixture, put this paper on top, and just poke this through. That's fine too. I've done that. I've done everything. So do what you need to do. So before I pour this into the mold, I'm going to give it just one more little stir because you want to make sure that it's not separated. And it should be easy enough to just pour it carefully. Yep, this is easy. You never know. And fill them all up, and you get these in the freezer. And I'm telling you, when they're really just clamoring for something sweet, this will totally satisfy the sweet tooth. And go ahead and switch it up. If your family likes blueberries, then use blueberries. Bananas, you name it. They get a taste for that. And then that kind of a sweet is what really excites them when it comes time to have sweets. So this is, you know, it's not a process that happens overnight. You have to be really, really patient and you have to persevere. And yes, there's going to be those nights and those days when somebody just doesn't like it, you know. I hate that. I want this. I want that. But, you know, you can't, you can't falter. You mustn't be deterred. That's part of the deal. You have to act like you're in charge. Even if you have to go in the other room and just like want to rip your hair out because you've had the longest day and nobody wants to eat what you want to cook. Anyway, this is one of those things that is, is going to make them very happy. And if you happen to be one of those folks that do lemonade stands, you know, try having a popsicle stand. That'll really get the neighbors excited. Okay, so this is just going straight into the freezer. In about four to six hours, you have strawberry lemonade pops. Claire is here and it's time to eat. So we're gonna get our pops out of the freezer right here. You wanna lift them out? Yeah. Great. Ooh, they're cold. They're cold. Let me show you what we have to do. We have to stick them right over yeah. here in hot water. Like right here? And the re yeah, there you go. And the reason why is it's gonna loosen and melt while we make our tacos. I love but cooking. But why would you want it to melt? Because otherwise it's gonna get stuck and it's not gonna come out. Ooh. This comes off, if I'm lucky. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Turn it around, just pull this side off. And see, because it melted a little, we have a pop. 